All right. Hey, VC Vinyl Community, welcome back. My name is Jamie. Thanks so much uh, for stopping by. Okay, got another vinyl update for you uh, on this one. Uh, kind of a mixed bag, so let's uh, let's dive right in and see what we see what we got. Uh, first off, um, this is my uh, first. Uh, uh, album from this individual. He's the man behind Stax Volt, uh, singer, songwriter, producer, musician extraordinaire, very soulful individual, uh, talking about uh, Isaac Hayes. And this is his album, Joy. And this uh, came out in 1973 uh, under Stax Records. And uh, what can you say about Isaac Hayes? Just a terrific uh, musician, singer, songwriter, and just soulful, so soulful. And uh, yeah, this came out in uh, 1973, and uh, the title track alone, Joy, uh, clocks in at 15 minutes and 55 seconds. So he really stretches things out on this one. There's only five tracks on here. Uh, I'm going to make it without you, 11 minutes and 11 seconds. And, uh, you know, the man behind so many of the great uh, singles on the Stax Volts. Uh, record label. So this one was still in the shrink, uh, which was, I was really happy about. So this is my first uh, first full length album uh, on vinyl from Isaac Hayes, and uh, yeah, and this is under the Enterprise uh, label through Stax, and yeah, it plays well. Still in the shrink, so I was really happy to see that uh, Isaac Hayes and Joy. And I do have an Isaac Hayes uh, CD box set, and uh, Steve Carlson uh, from the vinyl community was suggesting I show more of my box sets. So, Steve, this one's for you. Here's uh, Isaac Hayes and the Spirit of Memphis from 1962 to 1976. Of course, uh, Soulville, USA, Stax Volt. And uh, this box set came out uh, last year. And uh, yeah, let's take a look inside. So it had the uh, you know the paper sleeve on the back that just came off, and then the hype sticker uh, features four CDs plus seven-inch vinyl single, previously unreleased live and studio material, fifty-six page book, never before seen photos, uh, liner notes, and additional contributions. So yeah, let's uh, let's take a look inside. And uh, it's it's really nice overall. I do like these kind of you know CD book kind of things. Uh, nice hard cover there. And simply just opens up, and lots of uh, essay information, some vintage photos, and certainly reproduction of a lot of the album covers, Hot Buttered Soul there, and certainly his work with uh, Sam and Dave. And again, Isaac Hayes was so instrumental in a lot of the big hits for Stax Volt. Of course, there you have uh, Joy. And then the uh, CDs are sort of uh, themed, uh, each CD. So the first one is... Soul songwriter, soul producer. So the first one doesn't really feature Isaac Hayes. It features all the uh, material that he was involved with, like, as I mentioned, Sam and Dave. Also the Soul Children, uh, Carla Thomas, uh, Danny White, Dave Porter, uh, Booker T and the MGs. Uh, disc 2, and then again, you've got the reproductions again of the album covers in there. Disc 2 is Volt and Enterprise singles with uh, Isaac Hayes, including the a theme from Shaft and Interesting, uh, Joy, the album I just showed you, where the title track is over 15 minutes long. Here it's the single version that I think only clocks in at like uh, three or four minutes. So it's uh, Joy Part 1. So nice to get the full-length version of Joy. And then disc three is Cover Man. So these are a lot of cover songs he did. Also some live and concert stuff there. And then disc four is Jam Master uh, with extended jams. Like, uh, You've Made Me So Very Happy. Also, Ain't No Sunshine and Do Your Thing. A few of those previously unreleased. And as you can see, it also does include a 45, which is kind of cool. And this is Isaac Hayes' Laura, We're On Our Last Go-Around. <laughs> Great title. And then you've got uh, C.C. Ryder on the flip. And this is... Youngstone Records, but uh, there you go, Isaac Hayes, Soulville, USA, and certainly the sound of Stax Volt. Okay, let's uh, change gears here. We've got the Cow Sills in concert, and why not? Uh, the Cow Sills, a uh, big band from the 60s, the, the Cow Sills had hits like The Rain, The Park, and other things, and this group was the inspiration to create the Partridge Family, the TV show. But the Partridge Family were based on the Cow Sills, kind of a family band. And uh, this is their in concert to album. And I'm not sure the year that this came out, but this came out after the best of the Cow Sills. And uh, as you can see, it says Hair. They don't actually perform Hair, but Hair, the single, uh, is included as the first track. So the studio single version of Hair is included as, as the first track. Because I think the story is. 
Uh, it came out after the Best of the Cow Sills, so the single was released, but then this album came out and they decided to just include it with this. So in terms of value for your money, that's not too bad at all. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of covers. Monday, Monday, Walk Away, Renee, Please, Mr. Postman. You know, it's it's 60s pop, it's energetic, and uh, believe it or not, they do a cover of Sunshine of Your Love, the cream hit. Yeah, and overall, it's not bad. Also, good golly, Miss Molly, paperback writer, reach out, I'll be there. But uh, yeah, the cow sills in concert. How about that? Okay, pick this up at the last uh, record store day. Uh, the Stooges, first album, of course, with the man Iggy Pop. And uh, it's amazing that this goes all the way back to 1969. And this is the uh, record store uh, release. So this is a double album uh, featuring the uh, album on the first disc and then with a bunch of outtakes and whatnot on the second uh, disc. So it was good, pretty good value for, you know, for your money, that sort of thing. And it, Opens up like this, and of course this is great. If you like punk, this is great early punk. Uh, Iggy Pop Stooges at their finest. Great record, and uh, yeah, produced by John Cale, too. And it's interesting when you got, like, 1969, I Want to Be Your Dog, and then when you get the track We Will Fall, that's where you really get the John Cale uh, influence going on. But on Electra there... And yeah, just pop the uh, hype sticker on here, and they called this the uh, Detroit edition. This was a limited edition of 8,000 on 180 grams, so this was a 2 LP set. And they are releasing another Stooges one, I think, for the next uh, Record Store Day uh, for the Black Friday. That's uh, coming up at the end of November, and they're calling it, I think, Rare Power. So it's not raw power, but it's uh, some out takes and extra stuff from that album that they're calling Rare Power. But I think it's just a single uh, LP, but it does look interesting. Okay, we've got uh, Genesis, their very first album uh, from Genesis to Revelation. And it's interesting, the band always kind of dismisses this album. Uh, this was produced by Jonathan King, and it's got a lot of strings. Uh, this was Genesis at their very early days, but I still think this is a wonderful album. It's, you know, pastoral, it's folky, and I know they certainly uh, were influenced then by King Crimson in The Court of the Crimson King, and then their sound really toughened up by their next album, Trespass. But uh, for my money, this is just a wonderful album. And this is my second copy, because with this one, I was very pleased to see that the insert was included. I've seen a number of copies that the insert, for whatever reason, is not included. So this gives you all the lyrics and some wonderful illustrations there. And of course, this is with Peter Gabriel, uh, Anthony Phillips, uh, Anthony Banks, uh, Michael Rutherford and John Silver on drums. So this is, of course, the pre Phil Collins and Steve Hackett days, and it's Anthony Phillips, uh, <laughs> or sorry, Anthony Banks, not Tony Banks uh, on this one. But uh, yeah, but just a great album overall. And I don't think the strings, uh, sometimes when they're adding strings or strings included, it gets kind of. You know, I don't want to say hokey, but in this case, I think the strings really add uh, add to the songs. And this is just a great album overall. And we've got uh, the Moody Blues, Long Distance Voyager. This came out in 1981. And uh, this is when Mike Pinder had left the band. So they have uh, Patrick Moraz, who had played with Yes on keyboards. And Patrick Moraz was with him, I think, through a good part of the 1980s. And this is, again, another great album. Uh, the Moody Blues, certainly by this time, uh, were looking more towards radio hits. But what I've always liked about the Moody Blues is that even when they were trying for radio hits or kind of a more commercial sound, they didn't compromise their sound completely, not like some bands have been known to do. But this is a nice gatefold. And this one has uh, The Voice, which was a big hit. Also, Gemini Dream. Uh, Talking Out of Turn, a great song. So, you, of course, you've got uh, Justin Hayward, John Lodge, Ray Thomas, Graham Edge, and Patrick Moraz on keyboards. And I do love, do love the cover art. That is just wonderful. And uh, this was, yeah, 1981, I believe. And plays well, and... There you go. And this was still still on threshold. Well, you can hardly see it. It's just very tiny. Okay, and I think uh, we've got uh, time for one more. A uh, band I have featured a few times. This is the band FM. And they're not to be confused, I should mention. This is the Canadian band FM, not to be confused with the British band, also with the same name. Uh, but this is their album from 1979, Surveillance. And this is a great album. I've got to discover more of their stuff from the 70s. This is after Nash the Slash had left the band. In fact, he was only on, Nash the Slash initially was only on the first album. He then later rejoined the group in the 80s. But this is still some great prog rock 
stuff going on. Uh, we've got a nice cover of Shapes of Things on this one, but the song Orion going into Horizons is absolutely great, and then the kind of the, kind of the proggy stuff on side two is really good. Well worth checking out. Uh, this is when you still had the uh, two original members, and then Ben Mink uh, joined the band after Nash the Slash left, and Ben Mink, uh, better known for his work with KD Lang as a collaborator there, and uh, sent this one out to a, a speaker that uh, he'll be interested in seeing this. Uh, this is a Chime a Radio Compliments, a sticker, a Chime Radio out of uh, Kitchener Waterloo. So I don't think Chime would be giving away albums like this anymore. But uh, FM Surveillance, and this came out in 1979, well worth checking out. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thanks again. Tomorrow it's Halloween, so we'll have to feature some kind of kind of spooky stuff. We'll see what we got for tomorrow. But have yourself a good one. Thank you so much for the comments, and to all the new subscribers too. Thanks very much. We'll chat again.